all on. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? With the goddamn hair, your league. So, y'all, we about to get into SWV slash escape drama. Now, I want y'all to know it's a lot, and I mean a lot, going on with it. And I kind of want to break it down just a little bit, okay? But nothing too crazy. Now, basically... um, Two sisters, Tamika, and I think her sister name is Tasha, Latasha, okay? Now, Tamika is accusing Latasha and her husband for stealing her money. 30000 to be exact. 30000 Now, she's also saying that it's more money than that, like it's way more than 30000 because it was a, a plethora of checks, and her sister basically been saying that that was capped um so she done brought the receipts honey and she got her own video it was entirely too boring for me so i cannot react to that i want to make things more simple in life these days so i'm gonna react to impressive's version of it okay so let's get into it <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and fast forward i don't know if that's Welcome a copyright the impressive channel the drama within the r&b group escape never seems to end and it's getting uglier and uglier okay yes two it is. of the group members who happen to be sisters latasha and tamika scott are currently at war with each other tamika just recently exposed her sister latasha for stealing her royalty checks from her now just to give a backstory for those who don't know escape has a reality show on bravo called queens of r&b this is a reality show they've been doing before she even get into this my question is how the hell her sister steal her money <laughs> y'all her sister wasn't the one who was giving out the checks. Now, granted, she did explain how it happened. But, like, how to the people who giving out the checks, how y'all just let her sister and her husband sign for her stuff? As if she was unalive. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I don't really understand it. But we're going to keep going because, child, it's just a lot that I guess we not going to understand With right SWV. now. SWV. And there's been a lot of drama on the show. I mean, SWV and Escape don't get along. And also, Escape is going through their own inner turmoil as well. It's hard to get along with one woman, let, al let alone a group. But I ain't gonna lie. T Latasha, she is toxic to the entire situation. Sis think that she Omarion and this is B2K. She think this is David Ruffin and she the temptation. <laughs> no, she thinks she's David Ruffin and these are the temptations. You know what I'm saying? Like she just kind of going too far <laughs> with what she doing. And Escape has always had for issues real. since the 90s, okay? This is not new for them. Like at, the, the, 90s, they at the awards, sis went total opposite of what everybody else wore. And I don't know, I forgot what happened with that. But even as a group, like, you got to act like that's not happening. Like everybody had to look at her and be like, let's all take a flick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're just messing up the whole everything. David Ruffin in the Temptations head ass. Okay, this is not new for them. Back in the 90s, they did have a very messy breakup because Latasha wanted to go solo, but her solo career didn't really go anywhere. Yeah, it I was hate actually the way she Candy sang. and Tiny who continued to thrive. I, I feel like all them gang saying, I ain't even gonna lie to you. Me and Tiny wrote hits for TLC. Candy wrote some hits for Destiny's Child. Candy also dropped her own solo album later on. And that album made more noise than anything Latasha put out. And also, Tiny and Candy continued to be successful in the reality TV world. Meanwhile, the sisters Latasha and Tamika kind of stayed under the radar. And Tamika was always writing for Latasha, even when Latasha was wrong. Tamika was always siding with her sister. She even turned on her best friend Candy to side with Latasha. I mean, she that's crazy as hell like the person you be riding for and shit like 
will run you over with the same car. Your own sister and the way her mama treated her. Child, if, if she was my mama, we would never be talking again. On oh, everything I love, we would not be talking again. <laughs> like for real. Lied and said Candy was sleeping around with Jermaine Dupree's father and sleeping around with all these different people to get ahead. And she was only saying that because Latasha was in her ear. You know, Latasha always had an issue with Candy. And I do think the she main hating. issue between these two is she has hating. more to do with ego. And I do think Candy has a bit of an ego. But Candy Latasha's is a funny looking child, but she is be hating bigger than hers. And I do think Latasha is jealous of Candy's current success. Absolutely. I just feel like Latasha is unsatisfied. With She's jealous of her current success and was jealous of her past success from 50 years ago when they first started <laughs> is she's unsatisfied with where she is in her career and she's probably unsatisfied in her personal life too i mean her husband rocky bivens was running around with a whole side chick and that's a whole nother topic for another video but latasha is clearly unsatisfied and she's always relied on tamika to have her back right wrong or indifferent but Tamika has quietly suffered a lot of mistreatment from her sister and her sister's husband. And, and her even mama. her mother. Mama her would have been cut. sides with Latasha over Mama would have been cut all the way off. And she's at a point where she's tired of trying to protect her sister because her sister has done some foul things to her. And her sister so has allowed her, money her husband to control her and do a lot of foul things as he well. He look controlling. Now, what is the issue between oh, Latasha and Tamika? Well, one of the issues is this. They were supposed to do a joint gospel album together. And Tamika thought it would be a good idea if they actually split the money they made evenly. And it's pretty logical, right? But yeah. Latasha had an issue with that. She didn't want to split the money with her sister. So she decided to remove her sister from the equation and do the gospel project by herself. Tamika was blind. That's a trifling by that. child. So that's one of the issues. But one of the big issues is Latasha and her husband, Rocky, stole money from Tamika. They stole Tamika's royalty checks that she was supposed to get from Escape. And Tamika I ain't gonna lie, his this is Tamika's fault. And I know, I know when I be saying this, y'all be looking at me like I'm crazy. But the problem is, you let a person use you once, shame on you. I mean, shame on them. You let a person use you twice, Shame on you. And three times, fuck the peace sign, load the chopper, let it rain on you. You get what I'm saying? It's just like, child, I'll be having to take my glasses off so y'all can see my eyes so you know where the hell I'm coming from. It's just like, this is some trifling. And I mean top of the line trifling. And the mama just going along with it, favoritism in the in the in the uh family, you know what I'm saying? It's like a a, a hint of imposter syndrome inside the family. Like imposter syndrome is against yourself. I don't know what it would be with the family, but it's giving imposter syndrome to me. You know what I'm saying? Like you you want one sister to to prevail and not prevail, but you want one sister to take off and have an amazing future but you want to treat the other daughter like princess and the frog and it's just it ain't right at all it, it's just not right bombshell on their reality show queens of r&b she revealed that latasha took thirty thousand dollars from her now latasha has thousands. gone on different platforms and she has denied these claims for the record i did not steal thirty thousand dollars from my sister so now i guess i'll just wait on my apology you know, even with this $30,000 allegation from my sister, of which I've always wanted clarity since since day one. I've called, I've reached out, I've sent voice messages, like to try to get clarity, because you're talking about something that happened 10 years, 10 years ago that I know nothing of. And I'm finding out. In Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. Like 10 years ago that I know nothing of is cap. And the fact that like, you know, um, her sister didn't put out like receipts in the beginning. I would have been put out receipts since we on camera now. We're on camera now. Okay. So if I need to, it, it, to not make me look stupid, <laughs> I'm going to have to go ahead and show what I got. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't no way. 
It just ain't no way. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. It's boy, just, no y'all, it, it's not boy, right. Ain't no way, I'm boy. not gonna lie, it's not right. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Good God. Insane. So my thing is, is was this for a storyline or is this real life? Because in real life, me and my sister, we talk. And you're talking about 10 years ago, and I'm calling you, and if somebody accuses you of something, they should she be able can't. to talk to you about it. But at the end of the day, you need to talk to me. So I don't want to hear from somebody. You're talking to everybody else outside of me. Because you're going to gonna lie. Now, side note, Latasha is saying that. People that say that, you don't want to talk to her. <laughs> what people don't know is Latasha actually changed her number on Tamika, and Tamika has not been able to get in contact with her sister. We don't have the telephone number. Why you say it's about communication, but you change your number? And then my mom tells me, oh, I can't give you her number because she needs her peace. But we oh, still have a business crazy. to run. Before we started filming, I tried to sit down with her and talk to her. She don't want to talk. It's like, what do you do when you call and nobody... You don't do don't nothing. Sue her ass. Sue her ass is what I would do. I'm talking every motherfucking dollar she stole. And if that was from 10 years ago, you still got the proof 10 years later, I would be suing her ass. What is it? What is it that you do? What are we supposed What am I supposed to do? What would you do when a person is? Oh, y'all, I am a vengeful bitch. I really am. Even if that's a word or not, I am. Ooh, I got to get back mine. You know what I'm saying? In certain situations. This one right here, top of the list, got to get mine back. Got to get my 30000 Before she did. Huh. Hello. For her to tell Tiny, oh, I'm going to turn up on them. Like, who is them? Me and Candy, what you turning up on us for? Like, I haven't done anything. So, Tamika has definitely hell. been trying to reach out, but Latasha doesn't want to talk to her. That's really what it is. But back to the subject at hand. Latasha denied stealing $30,000 from Tamika and her husband Rocky tried to deny it as well and he was very messy with it. He said some pretty salacious stuff. Listen to this. You see what the big the big news is, right? About you still, stealing the $30,000? No, about... Now the news is uh, Tamika, my sister-in-law, was sending me naked pictures. Uh, Todd sucking a tranny's dick and Tiny in trouble. Explain that the way she had explained but it's no money was taken and if you the, if i'm a i'm gonna throw this on everybody else but me was a person <laughs> the truth is they were paying tamika tasha's money see but that's a family thing and i'm not trying to they was paying tamika tasha's money break that wall but neither one i mean the the, the royalty a, people they, they know they mixed the and, sisters up, to break and they didn't know wall. you know um but tamika knew you know she knew tasha wrote everything she knew tasha thug holiday all that so she knew they was giving her tasha money so from listening to this rocky feels like latasha is entitled to tamika's money this is why it wouldn't be far-fetched to believe that rocky and latasha stole tamika's money and tamika Girl, she been riding for that milk dub for a long time <laughs> did reveal the receipts and she actually showed that yes they actively went behind her back and took her royalty checks now, Tiny's mother actually found out that the group can get paid through sound exchange, and she had all of the ladies in Escape sign up to get their money. But Rocky and Latasha went behind her back and changed her information and stole the money that she was supposed to get. And it was actually more than $30,000. I will show you a few pieces of evidence. That Girl, she ain't leave nothing out. Kept her sister number in there. And everything. And I don't know if this was from 10 years ago, though, but 10 years ago, I don't think they was using 678. Well, yeah, they was. 10 years ago, yeah, they were. How they went in and they changed my address to their address. How they changed my email. Everything that Diane, Miss Diane did was changed by my sister, Latasha Scott. That's so crazy. Evidence. Now, the misconception is. The 30000 it wasn't one check. I'm suing them and the people who gave out the check. It was multiple checks. Everybody got to get sued. 
Uh, I was and, very nice to say only 30000 was taken from me, stolen from me, rather. And still trying to... Now, the crazy thing that. is, when Tamika found this Your out, she innocent. still protected her sister and <laughs> her husband. Crazy. She was well within her right to press charges against them, but she wouldn't do it because of her loyalty to her family. No, but who? her sister and her husband, Rocky, have... But they don't have no to loyalty to you! It's really sad to witness. Mm -hmm. Rocky went on Unwind with Tasha K and said that Tamika sent him nudes. Tamika mm -hmm. said mm -hmm. that was a lie. Also, they were threatening Tamika. They were threatening to release Where the her news at? if she did not apologize and, release and clear it. up Latasha's name. That my tape, I have a sex tape that I did. Yes, when I was in my 20s, I did a sex tape. So, I gave it to my sister. Y'all the dumbest shit in the world. I'm gonna let her so say it. So, I went back to get it. She said... Why would you give your sex tape to your sister? What the fuck are we doing here? Hey, uh, I just got digged down, but I just need somebody to hold it real fast because, like, what? Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. <laughs> boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. It just ain't no way. <laughs> that someone stole it out of her safe. Dumb shit. So I said, okay, well, who got the safe code? Who got the code to your safe? She said only her and her husband. And then suddenly the husband get a hold of the tape. Yeah, like, like, what? By them. If I don't apologize, they're going to put the tape out. Who this gives the their sex tape to You and your sister. husband got to be the most <laughs> simplest criminals in the world. How are you going to send me a threat text? When right. I tell you this right here is sad, th this is sad. This is, is really, really, really sad. And I'm going to tell you why I think Latasha and her husband Rocky are doing this. I think they're upset that Tamika has finally grown a backbone and she's standing up to her sister. Absolutely. And she's no longer protecting Latasha. She's no longer lying for her. And this actually hurts Latasha more than anything. Latasha needs Tamika to be in her corner because if she doesn't have Tamika in her corner, she no longer has anybody to defend her and support her narrative. So right now Correct. she's out here by herself looking bad. I was See, sewer. Latasha thought that if she were to go solo and break away from the group and do her own gospel album, the group couldn't stand on their own. People wouldn't take a chance on them and they wouldn't be able to last without her. But as you could see, Escape is doing just fine as a trio. I mean, Candy, Period. Tiny, and Tamika sound amazing together. I'm so glad they put her ass to the side. Girl, because she was getting on my nerve. And I only watched like one episode. <laughs> together. And there's no drama. Period. Get getting that money. The bag. Get Meanwhile, that money. Meanwhile, Natasha and Rocky are left scrambling. Rocky can no longer get involved in Escape's business because his wife is no longer with the group. Good. Well, she chooses not to be with the group. And Latasha is no longer making money with the group. Good. And it's beginning to dawn on her that she's not really needed because the promoters are just fine booking Escape without her. So I could imagine that she and her husband are disgruntled at all of this. And they hate the fact that Tamika has basically jumped ship and said, forget y'all. So they're trying Good. to extort Tamika and threaten to release her tape. Do what so you want. She could fall back in line. First but of all, Tamika sis said her body was looking good in the tape. <laughs> Drop it. Drop that motherfucker like it's hot. Okay. Especially if my body was looking good. If I can, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, I, I mean, what you you ain't ashamed of it. Yeah. It's not going for it. And I'm glad that she's putting her foot down. I'm glad that she's taking up for herself. It's really unfortunate that her sister is behaving this way. And honestly, I could say the root of this is really their mother. Because if yeah. you watch the reality show Queens of R&B, you will see how their mother enables Latasha's behavior. She does. And the mother always it's sides nasty. with Latasha against Tamika. And I guarantee and years and it's because she don't like her damn daddy. I guarantee it's because she don't like her daddy. Years, Tamika has been trying to appease her family, but look at how her family treats her. Why would she try to appease them if they're only going to turn on her like this? Because she don't love herself. Crazy. I'm telling you, it's because she don't love herself. When you start to love yourself and really realize like, yo, trip, bitch, I'm me. Hell, you talking about when you realize that you're unstoppable? Okay, <laughs> she tried it. Like, that mama, fuck yeah.
You know what I'm saying? You ain't treat me like you my mama anyway. So, I mean, she ain't no need for us to act. You know what I'm saying? At all. Hello? Mm -mm. Crazy, but I'm glad all of this is unfolding. Honestly, Latasha, it's not looking good for you, sis. Latasha is out here trying to promote a gospel album, and she's behaving like this. Like her the devil. and her husband. It's just he horrible, is the devil. horrible publicity. And I will say, I do think Latasha has allowed her husband to get in her ear and kind of mess up her business. Because look at where she is now. And I wonder if she's under some type of control because Rocky has been accused of being a dangerous man. Because I don't know if y'all watched R&B Diva. It was a confrontation where on R&B Divas, he got into it with Nikki Gilbert's husband. And I was told, allegedly, <laughs> I took that for candy, that he pulled a gun out on her husband. And after that, it was no more R&B Diva. So, I mean, you oh, know, he's known to be a bully. He's known to pull guns out. He pulled a Not gun, pull out, a gun on out on a man. You can just fight Lawrence, that nigga. This producer. And oh, he can't Lawrence fight. Was, he had to go to the hospital and he had a stroke. Ah. So, you know, my sister's husband, he's a bully. He's a bully. Damn. If y'all ain't figured that out by now, he's a bully. So I'm just trying to figure out what the consequences are, Rocky. What are those consequences? And you're not going to threaten me like you threatened them. And you're definitely not going to pull a gun out on me like you did them. Based off of that, it seems to me like he's the type that would really get violent if he doesn't get his way. So I wonder if Latasha is scared of him and maybe that's why she's allowing him mm. to control her. Who knows? She might be in a dangerous situation. I mean, but she seems like she, she the dangerous one too. For the part that she's playing in this. She not she's acting like a scorned woman. Terrible. And she's not going to be blessed if she At continues all. going on like this. She needs to make things right with her sister. I mean, she stole money <clears> from her. And it's not really about the money at this point. It's really about the principle. Shit, like, me. Still why about the money. Stealing money from third your sister. And on top of that, <laughs> why is she in cahoots, allegedly in cahoots with her husband to extort her own sister? I mean, that's crazy. And then on top of that, she's trying to pursue a gospel career. I don't think Latasha really thought this through. She's not going to have the successful solo career she wants until she gets herself right. First of all, she has to get right with God. Second, she has to apologize to her sister, Tamika. Third, she has to apologize Girl, to the other members. She ain't She's taking this one to the grave. Fourth, she might have to protect herself from her husband because I don't know. She might be in danger. Maybe he's controlling her and he's the one creating a rift between her and her group, which I do believe. The personally. group and her Tamika sister. Tamika has definitely dropped more than enough hints to let us know how dangerous he really is. So I don't know what's going on behind the scenes, but if there's something crazy happening, I do hope Latasha is able to get the help she needs. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment. And Child, honestly, I just feel as though um, these hoes ain't loyal. <laughs> Not even your own sister. Um, she took her sister money. I'm going to say alleged, but she took us the money, allegedly. Um, like, you may not <clears throat> be able to pay that 30000 back, uh, but at least own up to what you did. She ain't doing that, though. She got too much pride with it. Her mama trash. Her mama probably got a, some bands off of it. Honestly, her mama, it seemed like her mama ate off that 30000 too. That's why she in cahoots with her sister. And every all of them just trash. They just trash. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below, though. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.